Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Super two. I'll get back with another video. Yeah, um, you know, for this um Saturday month for y'all, man. Okay, I'll probably do another um video. I'm gonna um, can I probably do another? What's happened to the um rappers and the um celebrities careers again? Okay, I'll probably do one about the um, you know, I said about the artist single Lauren Hill real quick. Cause the video, you know, you know um, I'm talking about the um. Single Lone Hill. I said, I, I said about, uh, I, I said, no, why did she got black ball for the industry? You know, why she had you, you, uh, kind of fell hard times and how I think she was on drugs at the time. So, like the video, you know, you know, I'm talking about, I guess, the struggles in life, you know, doing her being the fame, um, single man at the time. So, okay, here you go, man. Okay, Lone Hill was the top selling RB single of our time, you know, on so, um. Okay, she is very well known. I say in the group called the Fugees. How she saying with a group called the Fugees. Uh, let me see. I think about running. Um, so I probably say around the early nineties to where that she was known by. You know, I guess singing the group Fugees and how she had you know did a lot of movies in the past and shows and stuff and um. Uh, okay, she got involved in music. You know, back in the um uh, around the mid nineties, uh, to where she played out her first album called um. Kind of miseducation along here, uh, to where the album made you know made you know a lot of um you know a lot of uh, hits you know but okay she got signed with uh, the Columbia at the time uh, to where she put out I guess the first album time uh, um you know due to her being um uh, you know a, a time to all the time so she's from New Jersey you know and and I wrestled with that you know she grew up up in uh up in New York on uh, something. You know, I know how she, you know, uh, kind of moved to New York, so I guess she grew up there, you know, how she had made music. But I feel like the Lauryn Hill career had faded away, man, back around the, um, 2000s, to where they, you know, I think she had, uh, kind of, uh, kind of, basically, quit, um, uh, doing music for a while, due to her, I guess, you know, I guess her child, you know, so, on. So I guess she got pregnant. I said of a child and how she, you know, kind of had faded away, man, due to you know her being on drugs and how she is facing a lot of you know controversy at the time, and then her, and so I feel like that I think her career kind of faded away, man, due to her, you know, basically I think drug use and how she was, you know, getting arrested, man, or things she did in the past and how her own career kind of had faded away, man, kind of had died down to that, man. But so I think that. Um, but I think her career kind of had, you know, kind of went like, I said, up and down. I say throughout her life to where that she would make another album and how she made, I guess, another album in the past called, um, called MTV Unplugged 2.0, um, which is type of like a stage album, you know, that she was made by singing on stage and how she made no type of albums at all. But I don't know, I guess she would, um, and, but so, so, you know, I don't know if they try and drop her off the label or what. I don't know, you know, what she broke. But, so, I feel like that she is, you know, at times artist at time that, you know, I guess lost her way in life. That she lost her own, own passion, career, man, off of, you know, anything that could be involved in drugs, man. But, and so, I feel like along here, man, I'm just, I guess she's a talented artist singer of our time. That is, that she is very, I say, well known throughout the whole neo soul genre, you know, which is known for, you know, artists who is, um, yeah, I feel like neo soul, is, uh, um, so I feel like it's the genre is focused on making love music, so it, um, I sit back around the um mid two thousands to where the genre is very, you know, well known by the singers like um, you know, Moons and Soul Child, um. Long Hill, uh, you know, other people that is, you know, from the genre of the time. And so, I feel Long Hill was the young uh, artist that is very well known, I say, thought, I say throughout hip hop in the whole R&B genre to where that she made a lot of music, you know, over past life and how she made a lot of uh, movies and stuff, man. But, so, I don't know, I guess the downfall came from her being on drugs and how drugs can make your mind go back to where, you know, drugs can really take over your mind. You know, make you want to like you know, like, uh, lose your own own self. But so I, I feel like Lauren Hill. I guess she lost herself, man, due to drugs and how she couldn't. You know, she back from the drugs and how she got. You know, I said lost her career after that, man. Until people, 
trying to black about her main financial industry, so and so I feel like and but um and so I feel like they should black ball, man. You know and it, it, so that black ball means that, you know, like if you all in the industry means that these people can't really can black you from doing shows outside the country or you can, you know, or they try to stop your your money from growing to make shows and, you know, basically make, you know, a lot of moves in life. And but you um, know so I think she's very well known for not coming I say to shows in time to where they she will always come late to her shows high man but so I don't know um and but after that so I do feel like her fans kinda had fought her for not coming to shows on time. Cause she very, you know, well known for her being late on shows and how she just, you know, trying to tell the fans that, you know, um, uh, you know, I'm sorry that I couldn't make too much uh, I said to my shows and how she just, you know, kinda had got high, man, you know, on the on stuff, man. But I feel like drugs can make your mind go bad and how how drugs can make your um yeah, let me see. And so I don't know if that drugs can affect your life too, man. But I don't know if I want to hear downfall is drugs. How drugs can be can, you know, bad downfall, I say you no, know, I say you no know, I say you no know, in, in a career, but so I think they have a so I'm so so I feel like that her career kind of faded away, man, due to drug use and how she just you know. I said you got bad about the industry, man. The past and how she just you know, you know didn't want to do right, man. But so I feel like that. So I do feel like that I, I guess her downfall was drugs and how she could you know just. Uh, I skipped to the industry, been trying to do a thing and sing, but. And so the last year I seen the video to where that. She on stage and how um, it's like the fans trying to blame her for that comes to the show all the time. How she just you know kind of lashed out on the fans saying that you know you the one that's trying to see me perform and how you know how she just kind of you know lashed out on the fans. But and so I think she uh yeah I don't know if she back in the, um basically I was doing doing shows on you know, I don't know if she probably doing. Music again, but I don't know, man. But I guess downfall is drugs. So make sure like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.